today in this video I will go to show you how to install a custom ROM on your Android device. We're not installing only a launcher but we'll we will installing the uh, complete custom ROM. So just basically click the link in the description below in order to download everything before proceeding the uh, installation process and when you're done doing that just Basically, um, proceed to this video, continue watching, and follow all the steps. I'm gonna be putting all of them in detail. So before I change my mind, let's get started. Don't forget to click the link in the description first. Before proceeding, you'll need to be rooted, and you need to install a custom recovery on your device. And if you haven't rooted yet, you, your device, just click the link in the description below to watch my video. So the first thing to you need to do is to uh, install a custom recovery on your Android device so just download first Flashify in a Google Play or just in the, your browser by clicking the link in the description below in order to uh, make it quickly so when you're done downloading the file all you need to do is to install it and make sure you have rooted your device or else this one will not work and just basically first click the link in the description below name the TWRP recovery which we were going to flash right now and just basically you'll need to uh, download that first and store that on the SD card or wherever just remember the directory of the file just all you have to do is to uh, click the recovery image here and just choose a file which is your TWR TWRP file which you have downloaded in the link in the description below just find that in your downloads or whatever you store that and just click that and okay so just click yup so we're doing this because if we didn't uh, install a uh, flash a, a uh, just reboot it right now if we didn't uh, flash a install a custom recovery on your device we might basically can install a uh, custom ROM so it's a team windy PWRP um, project recovery and all you need to do is to wipe the cache so just follow this video and the second thing is to a uh, factory reset so just swipe to reset So when you're done doing those two of them, just install it, install it, and just find the Galaxy S4 Beta 1 Wi-Fi 11, and just wipe that, and just click that, and swipe that to flash. So it's flashing right now, and it will take actually time, but I skip the video in order to save time. So all you have to do is to install it. it will take maybe. 15 to 20 minutes just wait for that and just uh, next in the next thing you need to do is to reboot your system so it's the logo there is the Samsung Galaxy S4 which is great and as you can see the Samsung um, boot animation there So as you can see it's optimizing right now so all you have to do is wait for that it will take so actually the first boot will take long time so just wait for that there's no need to panic my this video is too fast because I skipped it so as you can see the uh, galaxy s4 lock screen there looks amazing and stunning as you can see the, the uh, swipe to unlock and um, some of the uh, galaxy s4 launcher and notification which is really great in my eyes and uh, I will go to my settings and try to see the uh, look so as you can see the app drawer there and these notifications and um, it's basically looking good and you can see there GT1950 by Alpha Taluk and uh, Android 4 point two point two which is a jelly bean and uh, let's try to see the Android version as you can see it's 
104.2.2 jelly bean and some of the um, feature there so that's it for this video and hopefully this video works for you so if you found this video helpful and if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet why not try it out subscribe and if you like this video you can just click the thumbs up button there and if you have some thoughts ideas and suggestions what I have to make my video next you can just comment down below and request for me to make my new video so uh, thank you for watching and see you in my next video